Here we are back to the Grizzly, working our way back towards the, the main wind shaft, I guess it would be. With the big skip rails and the ladders, the manways that we came down. That should be just ahead of us here. Back to the little barrel. And the main shaft. I know. That's not even a full piece of wood broken. So don't put all your weight on there. Okay. We're going to go down another level, see if we can find another level. Big step and then little steps. Okay. I don't know if you can see down there, there's a little sliver of light and that's Tom. Going down about four or five more ladders. And there is another level here. There's one bad landing there that you got to watch out for if you're coming down. Do you want to come down? Um, how bad is the landing? The ladder, one landing is broken, but if you go down and look at it, you'll see you, you want to stay on the ladder that's kind of um, propped up on the right side of the main ladder. There's a double ladder. If you take the right one, you can come down. The alternative is you can have me look around on here. Right now I'm looking at a few wooden dynamite boxes and I don't know what else because I haven't looked around. Uh, what, how about you explore a little bit? I'm not real keen on going down any much further. 10 for. Might be out of radio range though. Okay, just be careful down there. Roger. Alright, let's see what we have here. There's some batteries still in their boxes that are, I'm not sure how old, but pretty old. There's another cigarette tin. Lucky strike, is it? There's a velvet. Pretty cool. And they're in a Atlas box. Atlas. Atlas. Okay, let's take a little walk down the down the lane here. Julie's staying up top. There's one pretty crappy ladder there that she didn't want to navigate around. There's a square fuel can or something. There's an old piece of ladder. Old Copenhagen tin. Another shovel. I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go. And that's about the end of it. This is backfilled a little bit, a few loads. Let's go the other way. Where's the can? More dynamite box, pretty rotten. I wonder how old that Lucky Strike tobacco can is. I, uh, I see a lot of Prince Alberts and a few velvets, but not, 
I don't think I've seen a lucky strike can. There's some milk uh, cartons. A little bag. Somebody's lunch stuff in there. Napkin and such. I'm back to the shaft. Copy that. I'm going to cross the shaft and go to the left now. The right didn't go real far. Okay. There's a shovel. Is that a can or a paper? Oh, that's a can too. This is a Sir Walter Raleigh can. We got them all covered here. Now I got to take another picture. Big gust of air just came up that shaft. I hope this is solid. I think it is. There's a bridge. There's track on it, so I think the track will hold me. Some grabbing. Here are some load counts. Looking back at the main shaft. Wow, big blast of air coming from somewhere behind me. You might even be able to hear it on the camera. Wind noise. Uh, looks a little dicey up here. Might be the end of the road for this old boy. That's where the air is coming from. Um, yeah. That's going to do it for me. There probably isn't too much over there. If there is, it's going to be unknown to me. Because that is what I'm looking at. So... I mean, if you wanted to, you probably could get over there, but... And that's looking down the attic still. And... Oh, this is a ladder going up. This is another ladder going down. Just a little short guy. But, that's going to do it. Well, this shaft continues down about another 100 feet vertical, and then it turns to something less than vertical. Very hard to tell from here. Probably still steep, like a 70 degree angle. I don't see any levels right here. Plus, the ladders are all covered up here. I'd have to move all this stuff. There are ladders down there. But I'd have to move all these timbers to get in there, and... look a little beat up so I'm gonna head back up I've got to go up with that away as far as you can see this is a bad landing here look at that don't want to use that one okay here he comes I'm exploring Deep in the mine. That was a pretty cool level. Yeah. Bunch of tobacco cans. And... Oh boy. Yeah, I didn't really need the rope on my back, but. Here goes Julie up the ladder. Very straight up and down here. <laughs> yeah, ladders are straight when they come to a level because otherwise the base of it would be in uh, the way of the track.
Here comes Tom. There's a lot of ladders to go up. A couple hundred feet anyway. At least. Yeah. Oh, of course. There he is. <laughs> That's a long way. I know. <laughs> Probably 300 feet of ladders. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Here comes Julie the Explorer, back from the depths of the mine. She's smart. She's got her mask on. I hope there wasn't a lot of hantavirus down there because there was a lot of mouse poop versus the traditional rat poop that you see in a mine. Much smaller mouse poop and several dead mice. I don't know how mice and rats live in these places. There's no water, it's bone dry, and there's really no food that I can think of. I mean, they can't go outside the mine every day to get food and water. It's always mystified me how they can live in here in total darkness with no food or water. Obviously, they get something from somewhere. Okay, we're heading back out, I think. Okay, we came from that way now. Kick the switch left so you can go that way. All right, now let's take the left. Really switched us. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. This is one we skipped on the way in. A lot of plastic debris on the ground from pipe that's shattered. And a big bolt up in the ceiling. Or the back of the mine, I should say. Jack's doing a little squirrely curving here. Another big area of some gobbling. Double shoots. Natural lagging up ahead, up overhead. Not sure what all this plastic is. And why it's so broken. Hmm, that's awkward across. This is uh, creepy. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully somebody didn't die right there, but if they did, rest in peace, my friend. Tracks take some odd little short curves here, don't they? Yeah. I think this is a little more modern part of the mine. It smells like creosote. Yep. There's kind of a room. Can't really see over there. I can't lean over far enough to. Atlas. There's a uh, cardboard explosives. Here is a uh, hoist room. Nothing left of the hoist though. Oh boy. They make their ladders around here, don't they? Well, I'm not going down there today because I am laddered out. Those other ones kicked my butt. There would have been a hoist sitting here though, and facing this way. 
the rope would have run up that way and it would have been a big pulley up top and back down the shaft this is a big trap door for the shaft it's all flipped over now That's not terribly far, is it? It must be a sub-level because we went down further than that, down the other ladders. See, here's your creosote smell. I think those are old railroad ties stacked up there. Um, that's a sub-level because the first level that we hit down below this was not as, it was further than that shaft went. Here is a door, possibly for wind. It is, there's still a breeze in here right now. But it's not, the door is all falling apart. Here's some chutes. Yeah, see these are all railroad ties. See where the track plate would have been? You can smell them. Third ladder going up, but it doesn't go anywhere. Whew. Yeah, I believe there are 25,000 feet of drifts in here because we've already covered a couple few anyway, probably. Uh, probably at least a mile or more. Let me see if this goes far. Yeah, it goes that way for a while. Now let's do, I let's stay on the tracks. Okay. See you again? Dead rat. Ooh, a fresh one. Freshly dead. A freshly dyed rat. Told you there's nothing to drink in here. How do you expect to survive? There's another big dry cell, huh? Yeah. It's about the fifth one of these we've seen. Hot shot. Multiple battery. Load counts. Yeah, there's some load counts. What's up here? Here's a big stove. Probably about 25 feet high. And mm, probably 50 feet long. Julie's about 25 feet away. Goes about 25 feet past her. Anything over there? Oh yeah, it keeps going. What do you want to do? I was railed here. It was railed back there. Either way. It looks kind of rough up there? No. There's a bag of Anfo. Or something else. NC. NCN. Some sort of explosive. Another big chute, and another hoist room. It's a crazy mine. Or no, it's not a hoist room, is it? It's just a uh, skip track. Too far. It goes up too I can't see from this angle. Well, that's definitely a sub level down below us because that's only about 
40 feet down and we were about 100 feet down in the level, lower level we went to. And then the second level I went was even further than that. There's another battery. It looks like the end of it right here. Pretty rubbly around here. Oh, there's an old set of ladders. That one you want to rope for. There's half a carbide can that they repurposed for something else. So now this is this is caved in here, but it does keep going on the it's crazy mine. Another set of ladders going up there. Holy buckets. Here comes Julie through the clutter. She's a pretty tough little mine explorer. Let's see if we can find the end of this thing. We couldn't find the bottom of the mine. Maybe we can find the ends of it. It's getting dusty back here. We always try to walk kind of gingerly when you're in dusty mines. Because you can make a big difference the way you walk if you stomp down versus a stealthy walk. This is one of the bigger mines we've been in though. Five miles of workings on at least three levels. Probably four because I believe there's a sub-level. There's a work table or something. Need a little cross cut or a siding maybe. And another big chute. I see a ladder up there. There's a, uh, cardboard explosives. A thousand feet of ladders in here at least. This might be for hauling equipment up. When you see those V-shaped wood chutes, I don't think they're for ore, I think they're more for dragging a drill and whatever else up. Heavy equipment that you can't carry. Have to hoist it up. Oh, we're still going here. Here was a cross cut. Oh, I see a collapse up here. Must be a big stope, huh? Yeah. Well, it wasn't a stope, it is now. Yeah. Now that this is all collapsed. Mm -hmm. Let me just take a quick peek up here. What do you think? Keep going? Yeah, it keeps going. Let's see if we can find the end. If it doesn't come pretty quick, I'm going to give out. It looks like this has been somewhat backfilled for some reason that the floor is so bumpy. Here's another chute. Huge chute. Yeah. Now this, this must have been backfilled because this, there's no way you would have had all this on the floor. Uh -huh. The tracks go to a dead end there 
have we found the end? Now the tracks are still going underneath me. And now it's all cleared out again. Huh. That's weird. Keeps going. You back there? Swab can. Here's a, uh, I don't know what that is, a bearing cap or something? Don't tell me. See, it isn't so. <laughs> it probably wasn't the end, but it's as, far, no. <laughs> it's as far as we're going. Once again, now, there's a spot in here where water has come in in some of these places. And actually, that, no, that doesn't look like the face. But that's as far as we're going because it's collapsed. Here's the noble crosscut. So we're gonna see what it does for a minute. We'll press on. Soldier on, as they say. Look at this vein. Wonder if that's the good stuff. Some more explosives boxes, cardboard ones. All the cool ones are down below. That looks like the face of that right there. Oh boy. Well, that's some hard rock on the floor, isn't it? Yeah. Get lost in a cross cut. There's some paper. Oh yeah. Look at that bridge. Why would they have it go down just that little bit like that? Maybe it turns or something? No? You're going across? No, it's just, it's just a cut that they followed down and they went up to, I really shouldn't look straight up while I'm standing over a shaft. No. You know how it is when you look straight up, you get kind of dizzy, disoriented. Your equilibrium is off. That it? Yep. Yay, we found the end of the noble <laughs> cross cut. All right, that's it, because everything else on the way out, we have seen. Some of these guys do this modern stuff, I think, with a lighter or some kind of something. All right, we're heading back out. to this spot. We're on our way out. This goes up here too. What a place. That's looking back down the way we've come from.
lot of dangerous places here. This ore drop. There is a level right down below us that if you ever want to come back, you got something else to explore. We hate to kill a mine like this all at once. Savor it. Come back a couple times. Well, that's going to conclude our exploration of this mine. We didn't see it all. There's over five miles of workings here. And we were down, we saw three levels. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We sure enjoyed the explore. And uh, Julie and I always appreciate you guys watching. So until next time, we'll see you later. See you later. The tracks going across this portal area. Some head over towards that. Being over there. Let's go on the top of that. Big waste pile. Big mine. It's quite the elaborate orb in here. There's a grizzly up on top. And it goes into a hopper. And continues down from there. So I'm down here below this big bin and that would have been where the original ore dropped through that grizzly and down here is a huge hole. I don't know where this goes. Very large timbers here. Hey little buddy. You're a cute little guy, aren't you?